Over the years, Calanthia grew under my rule. My campaign to unite the South is almost over. As we speak, my son is directing our army against the remaining forces of the Southern Resistance. Once we're done there, we shall take the North. It's filled with all sorts of vile creatures, but also rich in the gold that I need. Only a few barbaric tribes are desperate enough to inhabit these lands. As my steward, you will have one of them at your disposal. The Tribe of the Dawn. Secure the Golden Route before our army arrives. My emissary, Edwin, will watch your progress. Fail me, and you will face a fate much worse than any of the savages you've ever fought before. The Tribe of the Dawn was always a humble community of Dabo worshippers. Their elder, Bogdan, is neither a warrior nor a strategist. When the Calanthians came with their threats and promises, they had no choice but to obey. They agreed to guide them through the Lazatian forests, hoping for peace and survival. We are, steward. No wonder our king chose you for this mission. You're more than worthy of this disgusting land. Are you sure we're in the right place? Where is that meek old coward who calls himself a leader? Welcome, you? my lord. I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn. I will guide you through the Lasatian woods. But, if I may, where are your warriors? The king's forces will come when the time is right. Until then, we are your new masters. As pledged, my lord. My tribe will follow the orders of the king's steward. They are your people now. I trust you'll take good care of them. We will, if they do their work. Do they find a place to set up a camp? Yes, sir. Our scouts have found a good spot for our first gourd. A nearby pond should provide enough reeds and food to start a small settlement. Please order our subjects to move. We should follow our scout's footsteps. We are not safe here. Wretched wolves! Those are the bodies of our scouts. There isn't much for us to bury, but it seems like one got away. With Dabo's help, he'll find his way back to us.
We've reached the pond our scouts told us about. It is indeed a fine location for a gourd. We have access to water, reeds, and other resources here. But first, let's build a palisade. These wooden walls will be the main defense of our new settlement. Palisade will keep us safe. Now, we need to think of how to make use of the resources we have. Hold on, old fool. This is just a minor stop on our way to the cartographer. He's waiting for us with instructions on how to reach the gold. I don't want to grow roots in this dump. My, my lord, I promise we will move on as soon as we have fortified our current position. For now, I suggest building a lumber mill, a forager's hut, and a thatchery. A lumber mill does sound useful. Fine then, but be quick about it, steward. Mm-hmm. 
suppose you people are used to starvation, but I am not. Steward, order these peasants to bring me some food. Sire, if I may, our people had some rations saved, but we will run out soon. We really need to start gathering food. Gord's expansion accelerated. Thank you for providing us with food. Even though starvation won't make us bleed, it will weigh heavily upon our subjects' mental state. If we neglect their sanity, they will flee our rule. Huh. Insubordinates like that should be punishable by death. Feeble minds. Hmm. In Calanthia, we would give our soldiers some wine to calm their nerves before the battle. My lord. We don't have wine here, but we do pride ourselves on making a great drinking mead. Mead, you say? Mm, that doesn't sound too bad. However, the basic comfort of staying within the range of a torchlight helps a lot in our sanity regeneration. Our scouts can provide light to everyone venturing outside of the Palisade, but I would recommend to build both a meadery and scout's tower. Yes, yes. But let's start with the meadery, shall we? 